Hey everyone, this is Scrap Computer here. This is going to be a continuation of our Improve the League series. This video will be covering the Rank Lose system and a couple of snippets I feel could be improved upon the current system. This will not be covering the reporting system in general, which will be covered in a future video, only for when a player actually leaves a game. That's the only time the system is going to be uh, implemented. Okay, so let's get into it. We've all had that troll at AFKs and costs us a game. We've all had that guy who goes for dinner and leaves the game and costs us it. We've all had that random DC that happens for 10 minutes plus to a player and they, well, you know, you get the picture. This is extremely annoying. Right now in the current system, if someone leaves, we all lose LP, we all lose our promos, we all get angry and we report them. So I lose some LP in my promos just because someone FK'd and they've basically got no recourse. There's nothing that's going to happen to them immediately. Reporting them doesn't help me now and I feel like this is completely avoidable in my personal opinion. Dota 2 is a cool interaction I feel is one of the best things in the world. In Dota 2, if a player leaves the game uh, before the 5 minute mark or leaves before first blood has been attained, the following happens. Number 1. After a set period of time, the team with the AFK can actually just leave the game with no penalty for themselves. Basically, they're not set as a lever, this saves you a lot of time. Number 2. The lever gets low priority in the next games, making their queue time longer. And number three, the team with the AFK have the game not counted towards their stats as it's an unfair game. Now another example of CSGO, their system is quite severe. If you leave a game, you'll immediately get a 30 minute ban from playing another. This is level one. If you leave an game, you get a two hour ban, which is level two. Leave again, you get a day ban. Leave one more time, you get a seven day ban. Leave one more time, you get a month ban. This also takes immediate effect. This massively puts people off AFKing a game. Simply, simply put, people don't want to be banned. And this to me is absolutely perfect. They get immediate recourse from leaving, which immediately puts it down as a negative recourse for themselves, which means they won't do the task again. And that's it for the examples. Now my proposed system, which should be a hybrid of the two. Immediate ban. In my proposed system, if you AFK, you'll immediately be reported and receive a small ban, as similar with CSGO. The first ban would be a little less harsh and you'd only get a 15 minute ban. This means those of you with rare internet connection issues don't leave commonly or, and are barely affected. After this, the number of ban timers would be 30 minutes, 1 hour, 6 hours, 1 day, 7 days and a month. This would work in a similar fashion to CSGO. You'd receive a small leave level, which basically means you can leave 3 times, you would get your ban level to 3. And after a week, it would go down to level two. After one more week, level one. And after one more week, level zero. So you're not gonna constantly, this isn't gonna keep on perpetuating. It will go down if you don't leave games. Every week your level will go down. This means that those players who don't leave often will be basically unaffected even at all. This part is simple and I don't think any player would disagree with this. I personally would love this to be implemented into League. Please note that also a report will go through which can extend the amount of time you're banned. This ensures that serial leavers are going to get banned for a far greater duration. And yes, this will be on top of the ban if they got reported enough. Now, these aren't going to work with multiplicity. You're not going to immediately be reported and add on time on top of it. This will stack up a certain amount of leave reports. And if you get enough, it will be sent to the tribunal and then extended. Only if you're an absolute serial leaver and you're leaving flat out. So the leaver shall only be given a, a stack set until they're banned for AFKing a certain amount of times. So you only get the normal ban I've previously just mentioned, but it will be augmented and additionally added to if you're leaving crap tons. So if you leave like a large number of games, like 10 a month, like for like two months, this is going to be added on to your month, to, uh, your ban timer. This is important for my next section. And just one last time, it will only be a small additive. Full game AFK equals 25% loss. When a player AFKs from the very start of the game, I propose the losing team should not lose basically any LP. I believe a 75% reduction on the amount of LP lost to an AFKer is more than fair if they're AFK from the very start of the game. Because no one knows to AFK for a teammate for example, or a geo partner at the start of the game, no one knows to do that. And if they do, they're going to get banned, so again, I'll move on to this later. And I also propose that anyone in promotions does not lose a game due to this. An AFK at the very start of the game spells 
a loss essentially. It just does. And if, I feel you should get another chance at your promos for this. I don't think this is too forgiving. An FK at the start of the game, it's pretty rare. This is pretty rare. And if it does happen, I believe you just shouldn't get punished too heavily. So normally players only lose a little LP and of course the player loses their promotions. I think they should just lose a drop of LP because you're still losing a game, not a full replacement. And of course you should also give uh, the people in the promos a replacement game. Losing a promos due to an AFK is maybe the worst thing that can happen. This system would help you out massively. I know every player would love this. A 4v5 is of course unfair, so we let the player get their ban, and of course we finish the game without risk of losing very much. I notice that the enemy team will still get their full victory because they have no control over this, and but their team is no AFK. I believe they shouldn't be punished for a player not reconnecting on your team. Mid game AFK equals a 50% loss. The second aspect of my proposed system is that you take a 50% reduction of LP for a player going AFK after the 5 minute mark or after first blood has been obtained to ensure this isn't abused after they lose first blood. We know a lot of players AFK after that, this will stop them. Anyone in promos will still lose their promo to ensure that people don't abuse the system and after a player leaves after this amount of time, at least they've had some chance to win. Once mid game hits and if not, if a player hasn't moved or gotten experience for 10 minutes, so we know they're truly AFK. I feel the system is fair and gives room for error when someone just DCs for a couple of minutes. 10 minutes is more than enough. After 10 minutes, if they aren't back, you'll get a 50% reduction. If they do come back, this is removed. Now 50% is of course a lot, but a 4v5 when someone AFKs, the chance of you winning is dropped by around 40 odd percent, if not more depending on the role. In a 5v5, one player makes all of the difference. League of Legends is based around team play and each player having the role to achieve. If you uh, if you AD carry for example and they AFK, you don't have a late game damage source. The AD carry is basically the sword of the team. A warrior without his sword is unlikely to win, although it's possible if his enemy flounders. You can win a 4v5, I've won quite a few, but at the end of the day this normally doesn't happen. And that's it for the system. To summarize, if a player AFKs, they get a ban which will increment if they keep on leaving games. For sealer abusers, we also add a time appendage to their ban time after enough reports. If a player AFKs from the very start of the game, your team will take a 75% reduction of, uh, of LP loss, and of course players in promotion will not have that game count as a loss. After the 5 minute mark, your team will get a 50% reduction in LP if someone AFKs for over 10 minutes. Although anyone in their promos will still lose their game. This is to ensure duo players don't AFK to help their friends and not losing their all important promos mid game. And if things aren't just looking great. Now let's look at the possible drawbacks of the system and the potential abuses. Abusing the system. Now I've been told this is the most common thing. I've been told by far too many people that Geo players are going to leave in my proposed system. A friend will AFK for another so they get less LP lost. You can do this in the system of course. I get that, but I ask you this, would you AFK for a friend to help them keep 10 LP? If, if not even less, 5 maybe. Um, probably not. You can't AFK from the start of the game, that would be dumb, and you're going to get banned regardless. You can only AFK mid-game when you know you're not going to win, So, and it only gives them a 50% reduction. Would you AFK, get banned, get a ban level, get reported for a friend for 10 LP if not less? I would say 90% of you wouldn't. I wouldn't at all. Friends can take hits for each other, but at the end of the day, you don't want to get banned for it. They can only do this once or twice and end up getting banned for ridiculous amounts of time. You can do this in my system once a week and just about keep the system. And even then, if you leave enough, the report system is going to catch up on you. Remember my system, they get the full loss. The play if you leave for a friend, you get the full loss. They get banned for 15, 30, 1 hour, 6 hours, 24 hours, a week and a month. This ban level takes an entire week to go down a single level. So if you're on, for example, the 1R1 and you AFK, you get the 6R1, you have to wait an entire week before that will go down to the 1R1. And even then, if you leave one more time, you get a 6R ban. That people are not going to abuse that. I just don't feel they would. This ban level takes an entire week, an entire week. You can only do this once a week, but I've already explained this backup. Serial users already get a stack report against them for only AFKing, which will obviously be abusive and add up to their ban timer, adding on more hours, more days even. There is no way around this system. You can abuse it, yes, to a small degree, but it'll eventually catch up with you and get your account banned. Uh, yes, you can abuse 10 LP once a week for a month, but you'll eventually get banned. Would you risk your account for a small reduction in LP for a friend? I think not. 
I don't know if a player, I don't know a player that would. I've tested this with a friend, um, just to see what he would say, I wasn't actually going to do it. I said, if you leave this game, I'll give you five pounds, sterling. And he said he's, he didn't want to because he's going to get banned. And this is even without my current system. He didn't want to get reported and banned. And that to me is just beautiful. I gave him the incentive and he still want, didn't want to do it, even outside the system. And I equate my 5 points sterling with 10 LP. Let's just put it that way. And he still wouldn't do it, even though it's worth more in the real world. Now I'll cover the effects of the system. Now that you know the potential drawbacks and see if it's worth it. People won't AFK. Duh. People don't like repercussions to their actions. To be fair, who does? I would love to eat McDonald's every day, but I would probably die pretty quickly. Uh, hence, repercussions. This will put people off AFKing extremely heavily. Those players who don't mind AFKing in their games um, are basically going to straight up banned straight away after leaving a game. This puts a negative recourse in their mind immediately. That's like um, if you click this button, you're going to get electric shocked every time. It's going to put people off putting clicking the button. This ensures they'll think twice and then another five times about leaving and potentially just stick on. I feel they would. With this system, we will 100% lower the amount of leaves, in my opinion. Again, I would love to data crunch this. I don't have it though, Riot does. Troll slash anger leaves equals zero. We have players that are asses in League. Each game does. I don't think League's any worse. The problem is they have the power each and every time. They have the power to screw you over. They leave, you lose. Ha 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 I don't care about the recourse myself. Okay. This system both punishes them and gives us the par for once. Screw those guys. I want them to go, I'm gonna FK. Right, go, go FK. I love the reduction right now because you're F you're you're clearly a rager. Go go FK, go. Give me my reduction, please. Go, go, go do it. And I don't think they're going to. If they leave, we get a benefit off it. These narcissistic players don't want you getting any benefits at all. They would rather play and grit their teeth then actually give you a reduction. I know they would. These trolls trying to ruin your game by AFKing or trying to just annoy you by AFKing will actually help you. They know this and I can guarantee they will not troll as much. There is no way they're going to just... I had a game yesterday and the guy was like, I'm AFKing and basically we're all like, no, don't, 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 don't. And he had all the power and I hate that. I hate that so badly. I basically wanted to say, I would love, if my system, I'd be like, all right, um, I would rather you didn't, but okay. You can go, that's fine. And he'd be like, screw you guys. I know he would. I, I know I know it, man. I know in my heart of hearts, I know they won't AFK. They do not want to help you in any way, shape, or form. And if this helped if this helps me and other players, they're not gonna AFK. Basically, also people leaving an anger at their team will merely be giving us an advantage in terms of not losing much LP. Once again, people with this disgusting, utterly ignorant mindset do not want to help you. And they'd rather play on and suck it up, in my opinion. And that's it for the system in all its 10 years, guys. I hope I basically explained it in some sort of comprehensive fashion. I hope you enjoyed the video and liked the idea more importantly. Go into the, the comment section and start the discussion, guys. I want to hear what you guys think. Tell me if I'm wrong or if you think I'm wrong or tell me something else that maybe missed out. Tell me absolutely everything, guys. I always love hearing the discussions, especially on the Improve Your League videos. They're very important to me. I want to improve this game and I hope all these guys want to as well. And that's it for the video, guys. If you like it, like it, dislike it, dislike it. If you like the content, you feel I'm correct or just generally think it's overall cool, you can subscribe. And if you think it's horrible and I'm totally wrong and this would make trillions of trolls and like it's Arthur's fault, you can unsub. I'm totally fair. I also stream on Twitch TV, guys. Um, I, the link will be in the low bar in the description, guys. Hopefully, you guys, I'll see you there. I'm a little bit more uh, uh, chill on there. I do try to provide as much educational content as possible, though. So besides that, guys, as always, have a great day and best of luck in the rift.